My name is Aaron and I'm from Washington, D.C. My name is Cameron Harrison. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. My name is Stevie um, and I'm in the Chicago uh, YCL. My name is Samantha. I'm from the Columbus, Ohio Club. My name is Francine. I am from the South, yeah. Er, yeah, Southeast Pennsylvania and Delaware District. So my name is Michael. I'm from Iowa, specifically in Iowa City. My name is Scott. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. My name is Eric Brooks. And I live in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hi, my name is Dylan, and I am from the Communist Party of DC, and I'm here in New York at the Little Red Schoolhouse. I've actually never been to New York, and coming here is the first time I've ever been on a plane. I felt like this is a wonderful opportunity to um, learn more about Marxist theory and the history of the Communist Party, particularly here in the States, um, but really just to meet comrades from all over. I wasn't sure what to expect. Where I'm but getting the opportunity to learn from elders who are once in the YCO or currently in the CPUSA, um, talking about history, talking about future strategizing, and talking about the battle against fascism. We invite some of the best youth organizers across the country to come together and deepen our understandings of the fundamentals of Marxism and also try to make sure that we're learning very concrete and practical skills to become better organizers. And we're also doing some fun stuff like a movie night and uh, some uh, walking tours and things like that so that the folks from all around the country get a chance to not only come out of this experience uh, with a bunch of new friends, hopefully, but also with a real grounding in the struggle for working class power and a really enjoyable 10 days in New York City. The biggest thing that I've been trying to take in and learn is many different strategies that people have employed or just how they approach different issues. Uh, Iowa is a very apolitical state. People aren't really engaged in politics and just trying to learn how to use the theory to then en engage people within uh, politics. My favorite thing is how open everyone has been to like just impromptu discussions, spontaneous discussions, like even just at night when we're hanging out before bed and we get stuck in some conversation about the lesson we had for the day or the teacher that we had teaching the lesson and I, I, I feel like I'm, get, I'm getting like extra lessons outside of the lessons if that makes sense and it's been it's a total constant process of like learning and unlearning and, and making notes and, and I like I have so many books and things that I want to follow up on when I get home and um, it's just given me like a, a, a revived excitement and drive to learn more um, and given me a foundation that I can take back to my club and my district. So my favorite thing about the school has been the opportunity to get to talk to other young people who care very deeply about changing the world for the better. I think in today's age it's very easy especially for young people to kind of just decide to opt out, to feel kind of hopeless, to feel like things can't change for the better, but being here at Little Red Schoolhouse with a amazing cohort of other young people, it really reminds me that, you know, we're not fighting by ourselves and that this is like a much larger struggle um, that more and more people are really starting to find their way into. My favorite part about the Little Red Schoolhouse so far is seeing all the young communists and young Marxists develop and also, you know, apply what they are learning in classes and their discussions outside of the classes, whether it's walking around New York City or um, hanging out at the cafe and thinking about applying dialectics, thinking about the struggle against fascism and building working class power in the clubs and districts around the country. I think that my favorite part is what I would say, is just meeting people. I think it's really been cool to meet people doing work from around the country and like learn how like conditions in different places are affecting what people are prioritizing um, and the way work gets done. All of the classes so far have been extremely instructive and I'm looking forward to the rest of them. I think the most interesting thing I've gotten from being here so far is just getting to learn about what other young communists are doing in their communities, with their clubs, with labor, with the peace movement, um, with workers in general, and even campaigns as well. Um, it's 2024, that's important, and our young communists are there, we're involved, not just you know in New York, but all around the country. Um, and so that's been really cool to get to see and hear about firsthand. I think one of my favorite things has honestly been 
the ability to really talk with people nationwide about the concerns that we have about politics, you know, spanning the globe. I think that it's been really refreshing to get that real life experience because sure, you know, the internet is there and it allows you, you know, send an email, send a text, maybe even do a face-to-face -face call through a screen, but being able to like sit with somebody and their emotions and really hear them and like understand that there is not a filter being pushed on you that prevents you from spreading your opinion without being worried about like being called incorrect and rather just like using this as a space for correction and compassion has been honestly my favorite part of all of this. This cohort, like every year's cohort is very different. And one of the things that I find amazing is the rapidity of change in the younger generations. This group, this particular cohort, is very uh, both ideologically advanced and is dedicated to struggle. I think the, you know, the future of our party is strong. You all have shown a great foundation you know, that, that will keep the party moving. The dedication that you have shown, the, the, the thinking behind it, the groundness, being grounded in your communities, in your dedication to making this a world a better place. And that's key. You know, and I hope that you never find yourself lost anywhere. Always come back to the party because that's where you belong. This is your political home.